What is up everyone and welcome to the Lazy Indian Gamer YouTube channel. My name is Vinay and you're watching Game Pass Mondays. Uh, so far we've done various games like Yakuza Like a Dragon and Star Wars Squadrons and today we're going to be trying out this amazing game called The Outer Worlds. I think this game has won a lot of awards in the past and I had kind of had my eyes on it uh, in the past but I wasn't really able to get down to playing it and uh, while I was browsing and wondering what game to try I thought this would be a good game it seems to be known as the Fallout clone or something very similar to Fallout now I've not been a very uh, Fallout uh, gamer but I've, that series has always intrigued me but I've always kind of found it wonky in terms of controls um, I said I'll give this a shot and see if this is more my kind of jam. So yeah, today I'm going to be playing The Outer Worlds and uh, leave your comments um, on if you've played this and what your take is on this game. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Yeah, we're going to choose normal. I always choose normal on most of my games. I'm glad they give us options to turn subtitles on before you start a game. I always see that as an accessible option. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Hmm, two left feet, huh? No matter, board outlawed dancing years ago. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to put points into this, huh? Okay, so strength affects melee weapon damage and the amount you carry. So you can do average, good, high, you very high. Any trouble digesting our food? I know I need to balance this out. So three points remain. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. Okay. Do I want to go with body, mind, or personality? I think I'm going to put in charm. Intelligence affects critical hit bonus charms. That's a weird one. Okay. Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonus. So these are all bonuses. I thought this would be more... Like crafting and stuff, but okay. Charm affects re faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. And temperament improves your natural health regeneration. Ooh. I'm gonna put this high. Points remaining for intelligence. And put one point each in these. Okay, I'm gonna put. I 
gonna focus on temperament. It's good. Kills melee. Okay, points available. Melee, range, defense, dialogue. Sixteen points for that. I don't think I have points enough to put in any of these, right? Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. We'll put those okay. marksmanship scores to good use. Mm. Stealth, sneak hack. I love stealth. Let me go with dialogue. So this is a lot like Fallout. I'll let you do the talking. I think tech is also good. Let me put it in stealth. You had a hand in everyone's pocket. Yep. Hmm, interesting. What is my aptitude? Farmer? No. Food additive tester. That sounds interesting because you can eat <laughs> a lot of food. Okay. Medical technician, safety, scientist, sub sous chef. Interesting. No discernible aptitude, right? Or just do. Scientists. Scientist assist. I, I do would have choose. a lot of dirty test tubes. Let's go with this. Nope, oops. I want to make a default. I'm gonna mess with these too much. Yeah, I think I'm set with this. Eh, uh, let's go to hair hairstyle. This is such a weird but like famous hairstyle. Like I don't get it, but this looks interesting, but this is good. Style twelve seems good. Let's keep that as an option. Also okay. Good. Not a mohawk. I think we'll settle with style 12. That's my choice. 12. Hair color. We'll go with white. Something like that. Unibrow! <laughs> Am I going for a unibrow? Good. No facial hair. Features. Makeup. That. 
Uh, this is like fancy makeup going on. Like freckles. Oh man, this is like got. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and put some basic makeup on. Nah, I don't want any dirt. Scars, no scars. Age. Hmm. So aging on the face, I'm gonna keep it young. Hmm, interesting. What do I call this character? Just call it lazy, right? I mean... I can't think of anything. That looks good. I didn't say okay. Yep. So he's gonna unlock like one character from. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Great, so light speed is known as skip jump here. I have to say the graphics so far are quite decent. Not blown me away, but the art is really good. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, Thanks for the word of confidence. Not to worry. I pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Did he just like I use the last of my chemical supplies feel... you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. He just sealed me shut inside, right? How do I get out? He soldered or whatever. Interesting. What do you mean? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. 
dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all colonists are counting on you. There's so many like hints and like ripoffs of uh Star Wars in a in a in a good fun way I guess that's part of the humor because I know that this game is supposed to be really funny Ah you've landed good Hawthorne should be close by What in law's name is that him Oh that idiot oh, I told man. You to plant the beacon and move away not stand there holding it oh well no sense in letting his ship go to waste Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship better you than the board huh ouch not sure i trusted the fellow might have gone after the bounty on my head shame about the whole squashing thing nasty way to go the interesting graphics right it's a very fan fantastical of fantasy world okay yeah there's an achievement i should become an achievement hunter This is just going to run you through the basic. Can I? Yikes. A sneaking use tall grass rocks or other cover to hide from enemies use this sneak past enemies or sneak up on them come back okay which means there should be an enemy here right you know i wish these games had like uh, stealth indicators to kind of know when you're in stealth also this grass kind of disappears on you so ah okay I don't even know if I'm in grass right now. Limit can it? Are they alerted? I don't want to find out. Hello? They made you fall just for that, right? Okay, left bumper to heal yourself. So far, the animations look fluid. The game looks uh, interesting. Still, a little get used to the graphics. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. 
Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. This is oh, what? We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, Ouch. what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Oh, so Some you're investigating my landing. Spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I'll go pursue it. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Uh oh. All spacers' choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacers' choice. Yes, nailed it that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. If I tell him, I'm off. Because if I ask him where I am, He's gonna know that I'm not from here, right? Damage my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an blah blah blah. Your brain blah blah blah. Pressing the tactical time dilation slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. So fancy stuff for slow mo, right? Oh no, I was supposed to avoid them. Can I not melee? They're called sprats. You don't take all, right? Starting up a game, always take. Oops, someone shooting. Okay, so I can hack this. 
Raising a skill will lower the number of items used in speed of the class. So I guess I can't hack this right now. Yeah, Marauders will have like a lot of stuff that I can take. What is that? Fast fashion. Can I not use this? Save myself. Okay, so... Telescoping stuff. Is that like a... Anyways, for... I'm glad you can carry like four weapons. See if there's something here. Eesh. Okay, I can't sneak past. I want to stealth them. That was painful to watch. This is interesting. The animations are fluid. Uh, it looks good in terms of the way uh, you walk around the floor. The gameplay is quite good. The colors are really like contrasty. And I don't know if you go to different planets and it changes. Um, that would be fun. Okay. So these are not enemies, right? What in the blazes? Where'd you come from? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Hmm. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. <laughs> I, can, I can use this. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Oh, so this way I get more help to like kind of get rid of these guys, right? Nice. I kind of like the whole gameplay. 
how you can use conversation to kind of persuade or intimidate and stuff. It's it's a lot like Fallout. It's pretty much Fallout, right? So I'm gonna. I'm wondering how I'm gonna convince them that I need to take this ship. There's a marauder there, right? I'm gonna go to the entrance. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I'm not a Marauder. Apex. Unauthorized access of spaceferring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Enya, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please it's be an interesting name. Authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for oh, wow. Registering procedures initiated. Procedures in area. Prepare to eject all forms. I like the expression. Four, three, two, one. She's just lying. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of there you go. Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Oh, wow. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure. And we were forced to make an emergency. Oh, that's smart AI. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a work facility falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical network of work facilities. I have taken the liberty of sending you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> I love. I love the humor built into this game. I think it's the strongest suit of this game. Oops. You've been promoted. Yeah. Anti Clio management training. Every time you level up your own skill points, spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Whoa, that's a lot. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses up to every 20 points. Read these skill descriptions to see what they are. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's skip past that. So.
revert all perk selection on screen you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points you get a new perk point to spend every two levels and also acquire those skills right okay Blah, blah, blah. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks availability. I'm gonna first go back to skill. Add into leadership. It seems like you can have a lot of conversations log so defense yes we use stealth as okay. Oh no, did I just lose all my ch oh goodness. Okay. I guess I need to so uh leadership points and I guess conversation dialogue. Actually tech. I have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. You can command your companions to use the special abilities on the enemy you are targeting. Perks. Tactical time dilation lasts longer. Surely this is normal. <laughs> You've grown healthy in your time outside of star basis. Yeah. I think this is a good point to have. I'm gonna either get this pack mule, increase the maximum carrying capacity of it. Companion crit. Twenty five percent weapon durability. Within speed. Interesting. Twenty five percent walk speed. Seems like I'll traverse stuff faster. Simple, but saves a lot of time. Okay. So I'm mostly be going to uh, going to be uh, kind of. Playing. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Space's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, say, I don't have a job. You got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Do you take... Do you take down payments on wanton violence? That's a lie. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Hey, good job. Marauders, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? Point. I remember seeing a marauder somewhere here. So I'm just going to go straight from point to point uh, to the story as much as possible and not deviate too much in exploration. My question is how do I stealth attack? That was interesting. Where's the other guy? I love stealth. So I'm just like sad that I can't. Let me go check the settings in here. Button layer. Then companion attack. Oh, wait, did I miss melee? I would like like uh, an easy way to like kind of take them down. Look, click quick melee. Maybe this is the way. world is like very colorful right edge water very stark colors who's this whoa hey where'd you come from don't go ambling out in those hills that's marauder territory friend i'm just passing through my pot Crash in the hills back there. How do you know I'm a maraud? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Sure, lie. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Ooh, don't be mean. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater Depends. is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Oh, wow. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. 
Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Okay. Phyllis, Conrad, Side quests. Edwidge, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. He may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay, boss. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. Ouch. You lose a lot of people to marauders. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my grave, you see. Hence the armed guard. What I want to know is if I don't add to my conversation uh, points, do I get as many questions and options or? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all my life. Oh man. Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problems the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Okay, do I continue straight? We talk to the corporate. I could really go for some saltiness. Beats working at the cannery. Interesting. The game's been interesting so far. Uh, I might probably try playing more of it. Definitely transitioning to Edgewater. The load time so far have been good. I think that was the longest kind of load time. But considering they're probably loading in an entire new map and not half a If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. I've got some time. Oh, what do you do here? Work. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Yeah. So, I'm kind of excited to see if we find a lot of like different areas like this. I hope like, the map is like big. Testing that way. So every action you hear, you do hear probably like what goes towards uh, character, right? Reputation, steel, I guess that kind of. Oh, 
thing that you've done to me. The grease monkey, Argo. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given Did you no say Parvati? Arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we've got is head clerk of the town transformer. Parvati. Mr. Pogden ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, uh -huh. hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. So basically marauders, right? People living in the botanical lab. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Okay. Good law, no, I don't want you killing any <laughs> of <all> them. <laughs> I just... that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. You want me to twist their arms without violence? Up. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Mm -hmm. That's that a good question. Me. I ask too much and push too hard. Oh, but I am interesting. ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Yes. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Uh, sure. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Fulton, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to. Oh, you. so that's where the companion you will need an administrative actions come code in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tapes, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Ooh, I didn't say that. PNP, new managers, I'm not. Companions, you've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provides combat support. Will then enhance your skills, increase your carrying capacity, and unlock special companion abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn about your companions in the virtual. Okay. Okay. Cool. Nice to meet you, Parati. So I'm gonna pause here and save. I'm definitely gonna do at least a couple more episodes of this. Um because it seems interesting. And uh I wanna uh definitely explore this game more so let me know what you thought of this game it looks interesting my take on it is that it's very followed-ish but it also seems very stylized and i like that more than followed art i like the artwork 
in this game oh i got a trophy an achievement and i just want to kind of play a few more hours of this and see if i actually like it so i'm pretty neutral on this it seems very interesting but it also seems seems like a time sink but yeah uh outer worlds i i the main thing i want to actually touch on before we leave is uh the game is very funny i can see the humor built into the game and that's probably its strongest suit and if you really want like wacky humor it seems like the kind of game you want to get into so that's it and uh this has been the end of the episode i thank you for watching and uh, again as usual hit the notification button to see uh to get notified of when i put out more episodes like these uh do like share and subscribe my current sub goal is 100 so i'm uh i think at 68 so 30 less than 30 more to go if you have a couple of seconds do hit the subscribe button helps a lot with the youtube algorithms uh do share and like follow me on twitter the description is in the link below and uh, also check out my patreon if you want to support me if you like my gameplay videos do check out my patreon it's patreon.com forward slash the lazy indian gamer there are various tires with uh, discord rules and stuff and check out my discord i will put the links of all these things below and uh, do join it again if you can't spare a few bucks on patreon do share just take a minute to share on twitter or on instagram and it will definitely help me out thanks for watching and i will see you in the next episode